And with the next option trading on March the 8th, this is the time uh, to look at this chart SPX, 60 minutes and 60 days up close. And this was a channel that we had been traveling up here for a long time, three months, day after day. Remember that? Day after day. Okay, so what happened here? We dropped down here and it looks like that we're forming a, some kind of a top here, which is a, this pattern looks like a diamond top and it has a diamond shape if you see two sides of it here a large variation in, in fluctuations and price and it is just very wide here it, this thing is 1335 and 1300 35 point is kind of narrowing here in the beginning and the end this is known as a diamond top if that is what it is and diamond top is a bearish pattern that forbades uh, that comes after a ma major advance usually and when that happens after a major advance it is a bearish pattern and that often leads to lower prices not necessarily all the time but in a lot of ch chart patterns that have been dissected over the years that, that it has done so let's take a look at the nine month chart and see if there is a diamond top here forming it looks like to me a diamond top somebody else a market technician may differ from that and may have a different judgment but you you be the judge on it draw these lines and see for yourself if this is a diamond top and if that is a diamond top we're looking at a downward market here uh, the internals of the market are deteriorating as well the accumulation distribution ratings for the S&P has de deteriorated uh, the internals are just not confirming the market is stalling and it's not making any headway here and the volumes have been getting higher and higher <coughs> on a lot of distribution days let's go check uh, check out uh, the SPY, SPY and see how the volumes have fared so you get an idea on the volumes and we had all these red bars here in SPY and these are distribution days today the market went up the SPY went up the market went up but on a lower volume what you want to see here is a higher volume coming in the volume was a lot less than Monday and it was a lot less than Friday we had two sell-off days and the volumes were heavier and then the volumes eased and the market went up as a rebound from the oil sell-off now all these Libyan uh, problems and oil and all this is mixed up here all the fundamentals are mixed up here if you want to believe all those stories fine go ahead but I think what really is happening here the market had a pretty much a good run from December three four months and it's about to take a correction uh, IBD investors business or daily has already declared that market in the correction um, I think uh, we're pretty soon are gonna hit this 50-day moving average if not and uh, it is stalling the market has uh, volumes but the volumes are not taking the market upwards and that is the main consideration here so the bets are off on now on the longs uh, let's take a look at on NDX and see how that has been faring. It also has a diamond top pattern here, and not as prominent as the SPY is, but it is pretty close. And I think in a few days it will form, and many people will be on it. Uh, let's put this ADX and see if it is still trending here, and that will give you an idea. Now, the ADX readings are now about 15 which is hardly any trend you need to see readings of 20 to 25 it does not matter what what is the direction of the line is what it matters is what is the reading is the reading is about 16 and this is not a trending market uh, come over here and take a look at it the readings were higher they were much higher in the big 14 you know they were 20 19 they were higher so the market was trending but then the trend changed and it started going sideways and if it is holds here a little bit then probably will be taking a breather something here okay on another news here NFLX this stock did not do very well at all and it just uh, it just got creamed here today uh, by the short sellers and on the news that Facebook will stream some movies so it has been forming a little base here but then it just gapped down and it never stopped and looking back there was twice the heavy volume on it than usual days and it's extremely oversold if this pops right back above 200 we should be okay otherwise we need to take some defensive actions here right now on this thing and that is all for today that i can add here uh, the market doesn't seem very good and healthy at this point and the leaders are also coming down